Hey guys, Whiteboard Wednesday coming at you. We're talking debt consolidation. This pretty little picture here is all too common. We're going to use the example of a client that's got a home loan at 4.5%, 500 grand outstanding, a credit card, a store card, which is a bit of a sexier version of a credit card, and at the end of the day, a personal loan. And as I said, this is an all too common situation that we find ourselves in and we get clients coming into us saying, I need to consolidate some debt. We'll get to the most important question at the end. But let's just look at the scenario here. I've got the home loan at 4.5%, 500 grand outstanding, I've got to pay 2.5 grand a month. That's just the interest component. I've got a credit card at 15.99, fantastic store card, 17.99, and a personal loan at 9.49. 15 grand, 10 grand, and 20 grand. So we've got there our know, 45 grand's worth of unsecured debt. So 545 grand in total. And our repayments, and this is just the interest repayment, although that does have a little bit of principal involved in it, comes to three and a half thousand bucks per month. So we have people come into us and they say, I've just got all of these debts that are you know, mounting upon me. And when you get into this sort of scenario, did you know that in Australia, I think the last, last, last um, uh, statistics or count showed that there was 50 billion dollar billion not million 50 billion dollars worth of credit card debt in this country and and for all those people out there that turn around and say oh yeah no I've got a credit card I use all of my I pay for all my expenses on it I rack up points etc etc that's another video in itself um, but you know what you're in the minority because of that 50 billion 32 billion is interest bearing so over 60% of credit card debt is actually getting charged interest, i.e. it's not being cleared on a monthly basis. Anyway, so we'll have people come into us and they say, I need to consolidate my debt, I need to simplify things. What they've got to understand is that that's fine if we consolidate all of this debt and we can wrap it all up under the home loan and give them a $545,000 home loan at 4.5%. And guess what? Because the interest rate is lower, the repayment would drop down to around about $2,760 per month. Fantastic, so what's that? That's about a $740 saving on a monthly basis. And from a cash flow perspective, fantastic. But the reality is all we've done is we've consolidated debt, we've put it at a lower rate, but we've taken it out over a much longer term. So the reality is if we were to just turn around and pay the minimum of $2,760 per month, over the journey, we're going to end up paying more interest. So if you go and speak to your lending specialist, the mortgage broker, and you say, I, want a, I need to consolidate some debt, the first question they should be asking is, how did you get into this scenario? And sometimes there's really valid reasons. But as I said, when you start to get into the spiral of this unsecured debt, it can be pretty hard to get out of. What we say is, okay, how did this occur? How do we avoid it occurring again? Um, because there's no point consolidating all of this unless you're going to close these things off and the most important thing to do is ensure that you keep paying at three and a half thousand bucks per month there's no point getting back to 2760 you need to continue to pay at three and a half and get the benefit of the lower interest rate so if you're out there and you're in this situation, as I said, it's a really common one, and you want to have a chat to someone who's going to tell you not necessarily what you just want to hear and take the easy option, but drill down a little bit deeper and say, okay, how did this all eventuate and how can we get ourselves out of that cycle and move forward? Please give us a call, 1300 780 440. We'd love to hear from you. Cheers.